I see French, the French and Jim, they just did a video together, they did a song together, see some positive yeah. energy, so how you feel about that, you know? Y'all burying the hatchet. It's all love. Pull it. Listen, man, it's all love, man. Shout out to everybody. I love everybody, man. You know, we passed that, man. We older now. You know what I mean? Dudes in their 40s now. You know what I'm saying? We grown ass men. We was, you know, we was running around. Everybody had their egos clashing. You know, but it's a new time, new era. Everybody, everybody linking up. Everybody getting money. Ain't nobody trying to come home and be shooting and licking. And like Jim, like Jim said, nobody died, so it's, it's still a good thing. But it is what it is. You know, and when we get there, it might not even be for everybody to see us squash the beat. We might just go in a room and just, you know, settle our differences man to man, or we might just have a conversation, whatever the case may be. It might not be even be for everybody. It might not be for TV. But, you know, like I said, it's all love on my end. I'm, I'm past everything. I, I'm, I'm on a whole new level. Yo, so that was uh, Max B. Hit that thumbs up button if y'all watching this, man. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, so that was Max B. He did an interview in prison um, with Don Diva magazine. All the real niggas know about Don Diva. And uh, basically was like, yo, I'm, 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 I'm okay with the whole French and Jimmy thing. Because that was the first thing I thought about was, man, is Max okay with this? Because it really all started with, you know, Max, you know, who was Jimmy's former artist and all of that. And, you know, and French just kind of rolled the wave. He rolled the whole wave gang and he, he French rolled the whole coke wave. You know what I mean? And he just picked up the ball when Max went to jail and just took it. Now... Um, French and Jimmy ended they beef or whatever a week ago. To me, I think they sitting around, you know, COVID pandemic is kind of letting people see things. Life has more perspective now because you've seen how many people are dying every day out here. And I really think they, they those two think that they can do a versus battle. <laughs> and, um, I don't think Jimmy's got enough commercial appeal to do a versus. I don't think motherfuckers understand versus is hit records. And as much as I like Jimmy's albums, and I, I say I, I think Jimmy's catalog is better than Joel's catalog. Wasted Talent, the album he dropped last year. I mean, Jimmy puts out good albums, but he doesn't have hits like that. But him and French really want to do a versus battle. Um, and French, all of his hits are you know basically made up of uh, features and shit like that. But you know, Max is cool with it. You know, when you in jail, you got a lot of time to think, a lot of time to read, a lot of stuff that you was thinking about when you was in the street is really not that important now. So Max is, Max, like he said, we they 40-something years old. You know what I mean? Jimmy, 44 years old, still gangbanging. Like, let that sink in. Now, Jimmy wrote on the post on Instagram, he wrote, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not with that shit. Like, Jimmy is still... On some fuck Max B shit. He did an interview in bed actually uh, with some other uh, blogger, and he was still like, "Nah, fuck Max B." You know what I'm saying? Jimmy is Jimmy just will not let that shit go, and it's like, "Come on, bro, G Jimmy, grow up." You know what I mean? You you pushing 45, you still out here acting like you an active gang member. Niggas is you know what I mean? Like, it, it, are we still stuck in 2000 2008? You know what I mean? Like, what, what year are we in? Is it 2020 or 2008? Like, what, what is wrong with you, bro? You know what I mean? Like, if any, now, Jimmy ended his beef with Jay, you know, which was really, you know, Cam's beef with Jay. But, you know what I mean? Jimmy, you've seen how many rappers from back in the days. not too many rappers that was beefing 15, 20 years ago that's still actively on that shit. Most guys have calmed down and cease and desist. You know what I mean? The fact that Jimmy is still like, you're not, it's still on. I'm like, what you going to do when you get out of jail? Oh, shit. What you going to do when you get out of jail? You still going to try to, you know, get at it with Max B? Like, come on, bro. It is what it is. Pardon me. I'm watching the Steelers game. They just lost. Uh, but, yeah, Max B wants to, is cool with it. Bygones be bygones. And Jim Jones is still out here on his bullshit. You know, it's funny. But, you know, at the same time, it's kind of not because it's like, bro, where's your growth? Where's, your, where's the evolution of Jim Jones? You know what I mean? You evolved as an artist, but you're still a child. You're still He still thinks he's 25 years old and he's banging in Harlem. It's like, bro, get 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 it over. What's the point of going to the Rock Nation brunches and all that if you're still going to act like a damn child and not be on some grown man shit? You know what I mean? So I'm disappointed in Jimmy. You know what I mean? Jimmy, get your shit together. And let bygones be bygones. But like I say, as far as this versus battle, because Jimmy um, called out the locks and he called out G-Unit, 
I think G Unit just got too many hits. You know, what I mean, Jimmy broke down. He said he should do five Jim Jones records. I don't think you can put together five five hits from Jim Jones. You could put out five hits from Cam. You could put out five hits from uh, you know, from maybe Jewels. But you know, he was like, "Oh man, you have to play twenty fifty cent records." I, I think G Unit got more hits than than Dipset. Yeah, the Locks got more got street anthems. You know what I mean? Like they broke it down on um, Joe Budden's podcast. You know, we gonna make it versus Dipset Anthem. And look, I fuck with Dipset, but I'm gonna have to go with we gonna make it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being for real. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, it is what it is, man. Max B let that shit die, and I pretty much figured, you know, when I when I heard French, you know, was uh making up with Jimmy, I'm like, okay, he must have clarified this with 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 Max B before he went and said is this okay you know what i mean so he did it it is what it is let me know what y'all think in the comment section man is jimmy tripping should jimmy grow the fuck up